Your morning news now on this Monday. Developing over the weekend, the city of La Crosse wants to purchase a building on the city's north side for affordable housing. According to the documents posted online, city leaders may purchase the former Marine Credit Union building located on the corner of Monitor and Avon Street to create roughly 30 affordable housing units. According to the resolution, the city can use up to roughly $2.6 million of American Rescue Plan Act funds. The city received ARPA funds to invest in housing and neighborhoods for low-income families, including those who are homeless. City officials have less than seven weeks to find a place for its unsheltered population. Many are staying at campgrounds in Huska Park, which is set to close on October 31st. The Community Development Committee will review the resolution at tomorrow's meeting. This is a developing story, so stay tuned to News 8 Now for updates. Sunday was a day to honor first responders in the community, and a church in our area did just that with a blue mass. While that ceremony began nationally in 1934 in Washington, D.C., this is the fourth year of the ceremony in our area. First responders proceeded into the St. Patrick Catholic Church and were honored for their service and sacrifices. Bye. Your neighborhood is about to become more sustainable. Habitat for Humanity is helping communities collaborate by launching their Renew the Block program. The goal of Renew is to make the community a great place to live, work, and play. Phase one of the project begins at Lincoln Middle School and organizers say it is the perfect starting point. Have that umbrella handy this morning. Some scattered showers continue to wrap their way across the area from uh, kind of northeast to southwest. And we will see these off and on showers, especially this morning. Otherwise, temperatures in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. That best chance of showers near and east of the river. If you plan to take the boat out soon, keep in mind the Blasky boat landing near Genoa will be closed today through Tuesday for construction. The improvement work will increase safety of the boat landing and reduce traffic congestion. Restrooms near the landing will stay open. Dairyland Power Cooperative donated $3,000 to that project. The funds will go to painting the parking lot. La Crosse's Civil Air Patrol is hosting two informational nights about its cadet program. Interested kids and their parents will get the chance to learn more about the program, meet current cadets, and try out an F-16 simulator. The program allows kids ages 12 to 18 to experience flight and learn to become a pilot. The in-person events will be today and Monday, September, or and Monday, I should say, September 19th from 7.30 to 8.30. Meetings will be at the Civil Air Patrol building on the east side of the La Crosse Regional Airport. Starting today, some traffic control lights on the city's north side are getting an upgrade. Signal cabinets, which control and power stoplights, will be replaced one intersection at a time. Temporary stop signs will be in place while work is being done. Upgrades are expected to be complete by the end of the month. We have posted which intersections will be affected on our website. That's news8000.com. And as you head out the door, a mainly cloudy sky. Again, those scattered light rain showers. Current temperatures in the 50s, so maybe a light coat this morning as well. Uh, highs today in the 60s to around 70 degrees, perhaps a little warmer to the north and west. Again, those scattered showers, especially near and east of the Mississippi River. Watch for some fog late tonight. Dry and warmer tomorrow and Wednesday with highs in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Low end rain chances into the weekend. Also, don't forget to keep up with the news of the day at news8000.com and the latest updates on the free, Bill, free News 8 Now First Alert weather app. Absolutely, <laughs> of course. We'll have the latest updates coming up for you this afternoon on News 8 Now at noon. CBS Mornings follows us here. Thank you for watching and have a great day.